Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. Myself, Dr. Triranjita Srivastav. We will study structure of atom part 3, the energy of an electron in an atom. In this lecture, you will be able to determine radius of orbits in an atom, velocity of an electron in an atom, energy of electron in hydrogen atom and concept of energy levels. In the previous lecture, we studied the Bohr's atomic model and got familiar with the four postulate. Again, from the first postulate, we know that the electron revolves around the nucleus in circular orbits. When it revolves, the centripetal force is equal to the Coulomb force of attraction as we have already studied. So, the energy of the electron in nth orbit is calculated as follows. We know that centripetal force that is mv square by rn is equal to the Coulomb force of attraction which is given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square by r n square. Here v n is speed of electron in nth orbit and r n is the radius of nth orbit. Now multiply this equation by m r n cube. So, we will get m square v n square r n square equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square r n. Now, since we know that the magnitude of orbital angular momentum which is equal to mvrn is nh upon 2 pi that is integral multiple of h upon 2 pi. Here n has values 1, 2, 3 and so on all integer values. When we substitute this value of nh upon 2 pi in the above equation, we obtain Rn which is the radius of the nth orbit equal to n square h square epsilon 0 divided by z e square into m pi. Now, this is the equation of the radius of orbit in atom. In this equation, the, this entire thing is known as Bohr's radius which is denoted by A0. For hydrogen atom, Z is equal to 1 and we get Rn equal to n square A0 which means that orbital radius is proportional to the square of a natural number multiplied by the Bohr's radius. After substituting the values of constants, we get the value of A0 equal to 5.3 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter. This is the diagram which is representing the radius of orbits which is varying with respect to n that is from n equal to 1 to n equal to 5. In order to obtain the velocity of electron in nth orbit, we will again start with the first equation in which the centripetal force 
is equal to the Coulomb force. This equation can be rewritten as m v r n into v n is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square. We know that m v n into r n is equal to n h upon 2 pi. After substituting this value, we get v n equal to z e square over 2 epsilon naught n h. Again, n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, the velocity of the electron is found to be inversely proportional to n. As we go to uh, outer or orbits, the velocity of the electron decreases. Now, let us determine the energy of the electron in nth orbit. For this, we need to find out the potential energy of the electron. Now, what is potential energy? You all must be knowing that the potential energy of an electron in bringing it from infinity to a point at a distance r n in the field of nucleus is given by u equal to integral minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square by r n square. And when we integrate this equation, we get the potential energy which is equal to minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square by r n. Now, if we substitute the value of r n, we get that the potential energy is equal to minus m v n square. We know that the kinetic energy is equal to half m v n square. So, the total energy comes out to be minus half m v n square. When we substitute the value of v n, we get this formula for the total energy of the electron in nth orbit. Here, the constants that is m e to the power 4 over 8 epsilon naught square h square is a universal constant which is known as Rydberg constant. And in terms of this, the energy is given by minus r z square by n square. So, from this, we infer that energy of an electron in various allowed orbits is inversely proportional to n square. And the energy of electron is negative. This means that electron is bound to the nucleus. Now, if we calculate the energy of electron in hydrogen atom, that is z is equal to 1. And substituting the standard values, we get the value of Rigbert constant, which comes out to be 13.6 electron volt. And hence, the energy of electron in hydrogen atom is E equal to minus 13.6 by n square electron volt. Thus, every orbit is specified with definite energy and the energy of the first orbit is minus 13.6 electron volt and the highest energy state has an energy which is 0. Now, if we plot the energy levels as shown in this diagram, so the ground state represents the state for which n is equal to 1. And in this situation, we have found that the energy of the electron is minus 13.6 electron volt. And for higher values of n, that is n equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, which are known as the excited states, the energy comes out to be proportional to 1 over n square. 
Here one more term is written that is ionization. Now what do we mean by ionization? That is the electron is emitted from the hydrogen atom and it is no more bound to the system. So the ionization energy is equal to minus of the ground state energy. So the ionization energy here is equal to 13.6 electron volts. So these are the energy levels of the hydrogen atom. So what we have learnt in this lecture? We have determined the radius of allowed orbits, the velocity of electron in an atom, the energy of an electron in an atom and studied the energy level diagram of hydrogen atom. Thank you.